Hey what's up guys this is Dover here welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about admin warnings and admin warnings is basically a plugin which allows you to warn a player and after several ba warnings for example you can give him a ban slash kick and you choose okay so this is the link I'll leave it down to in the description to the plugin so you'll come in here and download the zip file you'll just open the zip file extract it but I'm just going straight ahead go to object obj and then debug and then admin warnings.dll okay so now once you copy it you'll just go to your server folder that depends on what kind of server you have you'll go to rocket plugins and then just paste it inside and if you don't have the libraries of the plugin just go ahead and add it what i already have them so i'll just start up my server and let's talk about the config okay so i went ahead and opened my folder so you have config i suggest you download notepad plus plus because it's gonna help you out a lot so let's talk about this stuff quickly so this is enabled you want to have it on true to keep the plugin on if you want it on false it's it's gonna turn off your plugin basically and this is the announced kicks and ban server wide so it displays a message in chat when someone gets kicked slash banned from a warning and this is the announced warning so it's on false currently because if you if you want if you keep it on true it's gonna basically announce in the chat when a player gets a warning so yeah so this is the message of the color you could go just go with red for example and this is the warnings so you have from warnings 3 to 6 and kick player and ban player you can play with these stuff it's up to you you can have six warnings you can have uh, seven and how you do that is basically copy from here to this one click on enter backspace, uh, backspace paste it okay and then just make it warning seven for example and then you choose what kind of punishment you want to give to a player so keep in mind after warning 7 the warning resets so after warning 7 he basically goes back to warning 1 and yeah so that's about it for this plugin i hope i helped you out and i'll see you in the next video